All right, hey, welcome to the Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane. In today's lesson, we're gonna cover the items listed right here. If you are not familiar with those items, hey, no worries, stick around. We're gonna jump right in. All right, hey, let's go ahead and get started. Before we do so, though, I just wanna mention, if you like this video and in the end go ahead and, and you know click that subscribe button below that helps us a lot uh, go ahead and tell others about the coding zoo and our goal to help others learn how to program let's go ahead and jump into today's lesson all right so hey in the previous lessons we covered um, how to create generics what generics are how to handle bounded uh, types generics how to create those in this lesson we're going to cover how to use wildcard arguments with generics and what do i mean by that so Take a look at my example here. I've got this grade book. This grade book is uh, generic. It's a, it's a bounded parameterized type. Um, it is bound to uh, objects that extend the object grade. So I have a grade book. Grade book is, can take in parameters that extend grade, right? Uh, now, in previous lessons, we created a test grade and we created a homework grade and they all extend grade, right? So let's say in my grade book that I want to have a method that calculates the average. So I've written that right here. I've got calculate average, and this will work for any of the grade books. It's gonna take up the total grades, the sum. So I'm using a stream, I'm mapping it to get the grade from each grade, and then I'm collecting that and summing it up as a double. Then I'm taking the total grade and dividing it by the amount of grades in the grade book to get my average. So here's my calculate average. Now, I have this grade book and I want to be able to calculate average, and I want to have another method that compares its this grade book with other grade books. So I want to be able to see which grade book has the best overall calculated average right so i has i have a method called has better overall average grades now this method takes in another grade book with a parameterized type of t and it is returning true or false based upon which has the better uh, average the one that uh, is being passed into or the or the one that is being passed right so Think of this as like a compare method on an object, right? We're basically comparing uh, this grade book, its average, its, its calculated average, with the grade book that's being passed in's calculated average. So would, if this calculated average of this grade book is greater than the one passed in, it's going to return true, which means it has a better overall average grades. If it return, if it's not greater than, it's going to return false. It doesn't have a better overall grades. So at first, this looks good. This looks right. It should work. Let's go take a look at it. So I'm going to go over here in this class here. Now I have uh, a grade book that takes in test grades, and I've passed it in a test grade. And I have a grade book that takes in homework grades, and I've passed in a homework grade. Now let's try that method out. So I'm going to do homework grade book and Let's see if it has a better overall average grades compared to my test grade book. Well, what happens? Well, it won't compile. Why won't it compile? I'm using grade books, right? Well, I'm using grade books. This method only takes in grade books that have the parameterize of T, which was set with this object. So, if I have a homework grade book here, and it's parameterized with, is with homework grade. It's T is equal to homework grade, right? Then it can only be compared with other grade books that have a parameterized, uh, have a T of homework grade that are parameterized with the type of homework grade. So if we look at this, why doesn't this work? It won't compile. This method won't work because it takes in a grade book that works with the types of T, which is the same of this book that this method is in. So if this grade book T is set to um, test grade book, then the grade book that's passed in here must be also the same T 
of test grade book, right? So it can only compare the same grade books with the same T type. Now that's hard to understand. Let's take a look at it. So if I go over to Create Generic, Homework Grade Book is created with the T equal to Homework Grade. It cannot take in the test grade book to this method because the test grade book was created, a grade book was created with the, the type of test grade. So homework grade book can only be compared with other homework grade books. And test grade books can only be compared with other test grade books. Well, I want to be able to compare between grade books. I ought to be able to do this. How can I do this? Now, let's, let's show you that this will work. I'm going to change that over to, I'm going to compare homework grade book to itself. So that works because they're the same uh, type of parameter being used with the grade book. That type, that T is homework grade. So how do I make this method work with different um, types of grade book? Let's go into the method. So I'm going to change this T to a wildcard. So now I'm using a wildcard argument with my parameterized type. This method will take in any grade book that has the parameter type of whatever. Now this could be extended. So not just any type, but maybe it could be any type that extends grade. Will that work? Well, it might if I made a capital G. Okay. So I don't want this to be able to take in grade books that take in strings. I want it to be a grade book that works with types that extend grade. So it could be a test grade book or a homework grade book. Now let's go back over to my code here and let's change this back to test grade book. Now does it compile? Yes. So as you can see now, test grade book does compile. It will work. Why don't we run it? Which has the better average? Homework grade book, is it better average than test grade book? I think with the homework grade book, we passed in did we even set it? Let's set it. Let's say Bob's test grade, set grade. Let's do 98 on the test grade. And on the homework grade book, let's do, let's set the grade to 100. So the homework grade is better than test grade. This should return true. Let's run it. And there we go. So it returned true. Now let's say that this was a lower grade. And let's run it again. And it returned false. So there you go. So I wanted a method has better overall grades that took in basically wild cards. It took in any type of grade book. So it didn't matter if it was a test grade book or a homework grade book. This method, even though I'm working with a homework grade book, this method could take in a test grade book. And this method could also take in a homework grade book. Let's go back and look at it one last time. So, and it could be, so this method takes in a grade book, and it could be any grade book that has a that works with types that extend grade. So this is one example of how to use wildcards with generics in Java. All right, so hey, that's it for today. I hope that makes a lot of sense. If you have any questions, leave us a message below. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click subscribe below and click that bell icon. That helps us out a lot. We really appreciate it. Let others know, if you enjoyed this video, let others know about 
our YouTube channel. Send them our way. We really appreciate it. If you like the video, also click like. If you dislike, click dislike too. Leave us a message. Let us know how we can improve. Leave us a message. Let us know if you have any questions. We'll definitely get back to you. So that's it for today. I just want to say thank you, and I hope you have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Bye.